aesthetic designs of some of the buildings in the Lamu archipelago date back more than five centuries, displaying the preservation of authentic Sohili settlements. This cultural heritage has attracted protection and preservation. Lamu ni mahali pazuri na kulingana na sheria tunataka ku kuhifadhi turathi za Lamu kwa mipangilio mbali mbali. Ndio maana mara nyingi ukiangalia building structure tunafuata zile zile za Kiswahili ili utamaduni wetu ubakie hapa hapa Lamu. Some of the services from both the county and national governments were located to Mokoe in seeking to decongest the island. Mipangilio ya governor ni kwamba Mokoe itakuwa headquarter ya Lamu County kwa sababu kuna maofisi zote, kuna ofisi ya land, kuna ofisi ya finance, kuna ofisi ya trade na other offices. Kwa hivyo services zote za watu wa Lamu zinapatikana eh, kisiwani Mokoe. Other national projects such as the Port of Lamu coupled with the Lamu Port South Sudan Ethiopia Transport Corridor project or Lapset are also projected to be game changers in opening up Mokoe and other towns for investments. These projects have attracted countries such as Ethiopia and South Sudan for import and export of cargo through the Port of Lamu. Tunapokea meli yoyote hile, size yoyote, ata hile the latest post Panamax vessels. We can accommodate them in Lamu. Kwa sababu tukona channel kubwa our channel is 500 meters wide, a half a kilometer wide. It is very deep. We want to start developing the Lamu Port Special Economic Zone, and it is on top gear. We have uh, set aside 5,000 acres for special economic zones, whereby we will have, uh, uh, we, we've already like subdivided it into three sections. We have light industries, medium industry, and heavy industry. Some of the industries to be revived include a cotton ginery and a mango processing plant with 200 million shillings set aside to support small businesses in the area. But still, lack of sufficient accommodation and incomplete road network seem to be barriers to achieving the dream. The main section that has been uh, left behind is from Lamu Port to Garissa. Once that section is tarmacked, then it, we will have a highway now from Lamu to Moyale one-stop border point. And from there now, we'll now be opening up now Ethiopia for Kenya. Tunaitaji manyumba, hata sisi wenye our staff wanahitaji manyumba za kuishi. Jusi tumekuwa na ile meli ilikuja na chakula ya WFP. Ili kuna madereva walikuwa wengi sana. Saidi ya watu miatano, ilifu moja walikuwa hapa. Na kupata mahali ya kukaa hata chakula kwa mahoteli hazi kuwa raisi. Hata petrol station ya mafuta. Ni shida. I was speaking to some of the investors uh, from, uh, from the Netherlands and uh, they are already considering uh, putting up a wellness center in Manda Island. So it tells you that uh, Lamu is uh, bringing itself up to speed. With an estimated population of 200,000 people, fishing and tourism are the most important economic activities for the region. Kevin Mutai, NTV, in Lamu County.